Hello there folks, Cranky Old Cuber here. I've got another unboxing. Uh, I ordered, well, I ordered a fun thing from Rubix.com. So, and it, apparently this came from Canada. So it took a little while to get here, but it's finally here. I was hoping I would get this before Renaissance Fair ended, but I didn't. And I didn't do it quick enough because I did not know it existed quick enough. So let's get this guy open here and see what we got going on. What do we got? All right, I see. And I'm using an X-Acto because I left my happy other knife upstairs somewhere. I took it with me out to uh, the fair site yesterday because we had tear down and I didn't know if I'd need a knife or not. Turns out this X-Acto works pretty well. All right, what do we have here? Well, we have some paper. Yay, paper. Oh, look, it is a wooden Rubik's cube looks like so what do we got Let's put this here one wooden rubik's cube one piece of paper saying i purchased said wooden rubik's cube shipping was a little expensive from uh from canada to here it ended up costing something like uh six bucks i think so but uh i did not find this anywhere else to be fair didn't look really hard but let's get into this guy and see what we got do some first turns and find out the reason i wanted this for fair was i thought oh a wooden puzzle to use it fair at least it wouldn't look totally out of place i mean rubik's cube obviously had not been invented yet hey look it comes with a stand too neat all right so yeah it's kind of weird okay so we have one cube right here this is the cube oh it's heavy wow that's kind of cool though. It's like made of wood, like totally. So here we go. It's even got the Rubik's, uh, it's even got the Rubik's uh, logo on it here, right here. So that's pretty cool. All right, well, let's try some turns. Yeah, okay. I expected it to be kind of like this. So you're not gonna, you are not gonna finger trick this guy. Probably it looks like. Now how is it made? Ah, looks like it's wooden pieces on a plastic core from what I can tell. Let's see if we can get a piece out. We probably can. Yeah, look at that. So it's wooden pieces on a plastic core. Let's take a look here. So you can see that, All right? And then this guy right here, got just, and they're just screwed into the block. Okay, so that is why that's not going to work well. However, for casual solving, this could be pretty fun, like at the at a fair. Oh, and the colors are like the stickers are not super uniform, so and the pieces are not super uniform. So it doesn't turn super great, but it turns good enough. Like you could solve on this; it'll work. It's just kind of kind of gross. I don't know what you would use, like mineral oil or something to lubricate it if you wanted to. Like, I do not recognize getting this and lubricating it. Oh, I got my giant head in the shot there. All right, so. Uh, wooden Rubik's Cube. It's pretty cool. It's kind of expensive. I think it was 20 bucks on rubix.com. Uh, again, I got it for fair. Uh, thought it might be fun. It did not get here in time. I think what I might do though, for if I do decide to use this for fair is I might pull the stickers off and paint uh, color onto there because that would be even more period appropriate. Not that a Rubik's cube is period appropriate, but we, you know, we break rules where we have to. For instance, Rubik's cube had not been invented yet, obviously. So we would not uh, have those. However, wooden puzzles were around and this is one of those things that uh, patrons of the fair might, you know, get pulled in and have a conversation about or something. So I would definitely be willing to break the rules and have a wooden puzzle like this. So something I'm thinking about doing though is trying to build my own wooden puzzle by shaping actual pieces themselves. Um, another possibility is to take a decent core and make wooden caps for them. Uh, that's another way I was looking at. So I don't know. I'm going to try something out in the off season and see if I can figure out a way to do it. But this guy, 
at least turns. I mean, it's not great or anything, but it turns at least as good as the Rubik's Cube I had growing up. So how bad could it be? Anyway, here we go. We unboxed a wooden Rubik's Cube. Um, I would not recommend this as your main, so don't get this because it's not very fast and it's not super finger trickable. And I'll tell you another thing, the corner cutting is just really, 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 really bad. So um, it can't even cut like hardly at all. So I would not recommend this. Also, uh, just on a serious note, if you apply the kind of pressure you need to to actually corner cut on this, you're probably gonna pop a wooden thing, uh, one of the wooden cubies off of the plastic base, which is probably not a thing that you want, so. But it works, it's totally solvable. You're not gonna speed solve it, but you can certainly scramble it and solve it. I don't think that would hurt anything. It's a neat conversation piece though, right? Wait, let's do it this way. There we go. So, one wooden Rubik's Cube, hooray. Uh, I guess that's it. Thank you for watching. I will uh, catch you at the next video. Cheers.